Yesterday, a national climate report, much anticipated, was released. And here to explain everything is meteorologist Mike Favetta. Mike, what does this translate to? So it translates to more of what we already know. But this time, the word comes from the U.S. government. The Trump administration. The Trump administration, which is why it may have come out yesterday on Black Friday, a little bit buried there in the news. What's interesting about this report is that, yes, it repeats a lot of the same, but it's new information that puts a dire warning on what could come of the climates if we continue on this business as usual trajectory. So there's no question now based on this report that this is real. Correct. There is absolutely no question. It's real. It's us. It's here. Wow. And it's bad. And a lot of the information comes from scientific data. So I have three charts I'd like to show you. Tina, if we go over to the wall, the red line is showing the global temperature rise in degrees Celsius on the left from the start of the Industrial Revolution, 1880, going all the way up to last year, the last complete year of data, 2017. Look how that matches pretty perfectly with the line of carbon dioxide increase. So yes, there are many other variables that come into play when talking about the global temperature rise. However, carbon dioxide is pretty much the main culprit. Uh, you can head over to my Facebook page and I have a lot more information on why scientists and climatologists and meteorologists like myself that consult in this industry privately with large corporations are focusing on why carbon dioxide concentration is so important. There are other greenhouse gases that are more potent. For instance, methane is about 28 times more potent than carbon dioxide as a greenhouse gas and nitrous oxide or laughing gas, it's even the stuff you find in the aerosol whipped cream, is about 265 times more potent than carbon dioxide, but it doesn't last in the the atmosphere is long. However, all three greenhouse gases have been increasing since the start of the Industrial Revolution. So where do all these greenhouse gases come from? Well, a lot of them come from the energy sector and also from the transportation sector, more than half from those two sources combined. So you have your transportation, cars, planes, trains, and even down in the electricity sector, burning fossil fuels is a big source. Others such as industry, commercial, residential, and agriculture are big things too. So when policymakers come time to basically get the act in gear and start to limit greenhouse gas emissions, we can start to see a benefit from the effects of a warming climate. Thanks, of course, to our friends at Climate Central over in Princeton, right here in New Jersey, for putting that information together. I have more information on my Twitter account as well as Facebook. You can search it. Mike Favetta is where to go. Thanks for tuning in.